anyway on today i'll be reviewing this brand new this movie just dropped on netflix called attack on finland and it is starring anna blondel jasper pequin and this movie like it did came out a couple of months ago it's not a brand new movie just dropped today but this movie's cast when i saw that i'm like oh why where i have seen this actress so the actress she is you know, Game of Thrones, she is in uh, Daemon's uh, Targaryen's wife she played and the actor is from the Viking show. That is why I know that. <laughs> so in this movie, you see, after Finland's Independence Day celebration is interrupted by a terrorist attack on the presidential palace and uh, some of the guests was taken hostage. And the, in this movie, we see this security officer, he tried to find out why these uh, people are kidnapped in this movie. So this movie, it is... I would say for me it was a little too long it has so many side character like here and there this movie keep introducing all this character like uh, when you go into this movie I feel like oh all this character storyline they do come together uh, but for me I was like why we are introducing so many side character here there here like too many character to follow Although you do get the idea why they are here, but I've, like that, I think uh, uh, that will make many people very distracted watching this movie. Or like, who is he? Who is she? <laughs> why we are like uh, meeting all these people? So this movie, although it is kind of like a political thriller slash action movie, I thought this movie it was like. I, I will say that it wasn't very good, but it wasn't that bad either. That there is a like a, some part is really interesting that you do want to know who is behind all this. The mystery around all the character were I will say interesting. Uh, however, all the action scene in this movie, the way it was done, it gets so repeated. All all this unnecessary scene, especially the center couple in this movie. I feel like all their scenes were so unnecessary end of this movie. You're like, why did we waste our time? Which did drag the movie. I was saying, this is end of the day, a political drama about, you know, who is behind all this. And there is a reason for it. Uh, and uh, all, although I was thinking in this movie based on a true story or not, that is what I was thinking. Uh, but this movie, it is actually based on a book. And uh, as I was saying, some of the scene, it is very engaging when you were watching it. You are like, whoa, uh, what is happening? And some of the scene is so dragged, like, it's kind of like a mixed bag movie. It was for me. Uh, personally, I was like, oh, the direction could have been better in this movie. The action scenes are like, there is some good action scene, but some are not that. Some of the action scene is really lackluster. Some of the scene are just like, you're like, oh, that that was done very quickly. <laughs> Too short and that's it done. Uh, yeah, there's some uh, plot in convenience this movie has, which is, I was like, really? How is that happening? <laughs> and some of the character, however, I thought the center actor, he was really good. Uh, he, he's, uh, because that is the thing that his character was interesting. He was trying to figure out who is all uh, behind all this. So, you know, as the audience, you are with him trying to figure out who, who is behind this and uh, what will happen to the president or why did they kidnap him? And uh, yeah, overall, who is behind all this? Maybe I was like, oh, then again, as I was saying, I'm not sure if it's based on true story or not. So I'm not going to give my comment on who is behind all this made sense or not. Uh, because I don't know much about it. <laughs> but other than watching this movie, I, I was like, oh, okay. So there's a lot of really, when I say this, a lot of repetitive same stuff you see here. Like you are like, these people get kidnapped. They're getting him. His, they're sending him again. They're sending him again. I'm like, this... <laughs> The secretive officer, they're just sending him over and over. At some point, it really got really repeated for me. That really took down overall this movie. Although I found some of the scenes are interesting. And the story itself, it is definitely interesting. I just didn't like how repeated it got. And that's my thought on this movie. Let me know in the comment. What do you think about this movie? If you enjoyed my, this review, don't share my other reviews on other Netflix movies. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Until I see you next time, please take care.